everybody, it's Pop Music Freak back with another reaction video going through my list of my 1,000 songs, favorite songs of all time. I'm um, up to 978 on the list. Um, and you'll, you'll notice the latest one I put up was 980. Uh, we did 979 yesterday. There was a bit of an issue with uh, a video not being accepted by the gods of the copyright uh, world. <laughs> so I replaced... Um, uh, what was it? Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell. That got replaced by Hot Stuff uh, by Donna Summer. So now we have a new number 978 song. It is John Cougar Mellencamp and Crumbling Down from uh, the very end of 1983. It was a um, big, big uh, debut. Um, well, not, maybe not a big, big record, but it was the important uh, lead-off single on this album, Uh Huh, which came out in October of 83. Big follow-up to uh, the album American Fool, where he really smashed through with uh, Hurt So Good and Jack and Diane, two million-selling singles that are a little higher on my list than a 1,000. I will get to them, I promise. Um, so here we are, 978, crumbling down. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the song. I get some uh, uh, details here on some facts of the song itself. Crumbling Down is a rock song co-written and performed by John Mellencamp. Released as a lead single from his 1983 album, Uh Huh. It was a top 10 hit on both the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and Canadian pop charts, and it reached number two on the U.S. mainstream rock charts. Here's a little background. Crumbling Down was written by Mellencamp and longtime writing partner George Green. It was the last song recorded for Uh Huh. After listening to the masters for the other tracks recorded, Mellencamp decided that the album needed a song that would work as the album's lead single. He contacted Green, with whom he had previously written Hurt So Good, to solicit ideas. Green had begun a song with lines about walls crumbling down. He and Mellencamp then built the song by trading lines attempting to top one another. Uh, according to Green, the song attempts to answer the question of what to do when success eventually fades, and a big-time deal falls through. The song touches on Mellencamp's fame as well as the frustrations of losing one's livelihood. The lyrics were inspired, in fact, in part by Mellencamp's cousin losing his job as an electrical engineer. In a 2016 Mellencamp dedicated exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a display was emblazoned with the following quote from Mellencamp, Crumbling Down is a very political song that I wrote with my childhood friend George Green. Reagan was president. He was deregulating everything and the walls were crumbling down on the poor. The song was the last one recorded and the first single. It was a hit immediately. It felt like I was pulling the wool over everyone's eyes. The video for Crumbling Down received heavy play on MTV. It featured a chain-smoking melon camp in intentionally ripped denim jeans, dancing and kicking over chairs. Crumbling Down was the first single released by Melon Camp to include his real last name. Previous releases were credited to John Cougar. Crumbling Down was a lead single from Aha, uh -huh, following his previous hit single, Hand to Hold On To, from 1982's American Fool, to the Billboard Top 40, where it debuted October 22nd, 1983. It peaked at number 9 on that chart and number 2 on the mainstream rock chart. Crumbling Down was also included on Mellencamp's Greatest Hits compilations, Best I Could Do, and Words and Music, John Mellencamp's Greatest Hits. So... Uh, Canada had also reached number 9 in uh, December of 83. Um, so that's really about it. That's, that's the write-up on the song. That's what information I have to share with you. So I'm going to play the video now, which you'll see he's dancing around, kicking down chairs with the, you know, going along with the theme of crumbling down. So now we understand that in a way it was kind of a protest of Reagan's policies at the, in, at the time. Who knew? We just like the video, you know, we just thought it was a good rocking tune, you know, at the time. So, anyway, that's that. I'm going to play the video now. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to come back at the end with a couple of added comments about the song and uh, the artists. And uh, be back after the video. <laughs>
Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video, Crumbling Down by John Cougar Mellencamp. Um, just a note on his album, uh, uh huh. He also had two other big hits. Pink Houses would be the next single, and that would go to number eight on the charts early in 1984. And a third single would be Authority Song, which would hit number 13 on the charts in the spring of 84. And uh, it continued a pretty good run through the 80s, as he would have three more albums that would have at least one, one or two pretty good hits on them. So um, American Fool really kick-started his career, you can say, even though he had great songs before that. Um, but the... Uh, uh huh, was the first album to really solidify that he was more than just a one album wonder. You know, that's for sure. He was a great artist, absolutely. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share if you do. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can hit that bell to remind you when the next, uh, to give you a, a warning that the next video is coming. Oh no, run. No. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood today, forgive me. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you all peace and love and a wonderful day.